intellectual humility. Intellectual humility is a trait, uh, probably really a skill that I truly admire. I'm personally constantly trying to get better at it, even though I know I often fall short from where I'd like to be. So what is intellectual humility? Well, intellectual humility is the willingness to recognize that what you think, what you believe might be wrong. It isn't about being a pushover or not having courage, quite the opposite. In fact, the truly courageous, in my opinion, are those who can admit they're wrong. Intellectual humility is about being open and realizing we all have cognitive and emotional blind spots. But how do you get better at intellectual humility? Well, I'm going to give you four questions to ask yourself to both test your intellectual humility and to help you improve upon it. Are you ready? Question number one. Do you think more like a soldier or a scout? Soldiers defend positions. Scouts explore new territory and topics. If you're going to be intellectually humble, you need to be more of a scout than a soldier. Question number two. Would I rather be right or would I rather understand? Long-term knowledge is more important than a short-term victory. And often that victory comes at the expense of relationships, which can be difficult or almost impossible to repair at times. Question number three. Do I solicit and seek out opposing views? Or is all my time spent reading, watching, and listening to what I already agree with? Do I ask actively for new input? In a discussion with someone, instead of saying, don't you agree, perhaps you could say, tell me what you think and why. Question number four. Do I enjoy the pleasant surprise of discovering I'm mistaken? I know what you're thinking. Pleasant surprise of being wrong, what? Being wrong isn't a failure. It's a success. You've learned something new. It's an opportunity for you to grow and learn. Intellectual humility is in short supply today. It lacks in our society, at work, and even in families. We don't see it nearly often enough. If I could personally, I would start a National Intellectual Humility Society to help spread the word and teach people how to do it. Thank you for listening.